All right, here's uh, Shei Yomo today uh, from Lagos, Nigeria. This program, Digital uh, Skill Training is for Business, is coming up uh, 14th of October 2017 at uh, Sheraton Hotel, Lagos, Ikeja. And these are the course at mind. Uh, you're going to know a lot of things about uh, what you need to get about digital skill, the premium skill that you know. And um, more information is still on this uh, landing page. Quickly, uh, what I want to do for this right now, not really to advertise this, but just to uh, do some uh, Google Analytics for this, which is also part of what we are going to learn um, that day, and that is our web analytics. So I have about four to five landing page. Then I want to uh, measure the traffic, the source of different uh, adversaries that I'm going to use for this training. I want to measure them and know which one that have the highest uh, Outputs which one that have the highest results amongst all, all the traffic that I want to use for the training. Okay, so let's get set. Um, right now, quickly, I'm going to log into my Google Analytics. Okay, log into my Google Analytics account, and um, after which, I'm also going to uh, do it for each of these four pages one, two, three, four, five. I think I actually have okay, four. For, for measurement right now. So I'm logging into my analytics right now. It's coming up, okay. Yeah, so once my analytics comes up, what I want to do, I just want to add, um, this is the first landing page skills. This is landing page skills, refresh. This is another landing page, attend. This is another landing page, um, Register another one digital. Okay, okay. I even have the skills before here. All right. So just have to that. So firstly, I want to work with the digital, so I can just copy this landing page link. Um, once my analytics open, I will enter the analytics, create a tracking. Then that tracking, I will need to uh, post it inside this landing page within the head tag to be able to monitor the traffic from where the target, the device, and all those things. Then I can also uh, as well examine things and see if those traffic sources are good or not, either for me to continue with those traffic or not. Okay, but quickly before this load, I guess I have some little issue with my internet connection. Okay, so what I'll do, I'm trying to, oh, some guys are posing me right here. Okay, all right, let's go. So I'm logging into my backend, software.com slash cpanel. Okay, so the analytics is set right now. So you can have as many as up to 50, I mean, you can have up to 50 um, accounts on your analytics, okay? So what do I need to do right now? I can just come to uh, admin, okay? On the admin, so that's what I need to click. This card is open up for me to sign in. So what I will do right now, um, I will need to pause this a little bit to sign in, then come on. Okay, type my password and username, assign in. So as I'm signing in now, as that one is opening. So when you click admin, I have a lot of sites already in here. You can see them. So all I need to do is, in the, at the middle here, you have the one called properties here. We are going to take this in depth during the training. So I'm coming here, right? you can see these are the sites that I'm monitoring with this. So I'll just click create new properties. From this new property now, I'll put the link of um, the new traffic that I want. Can you see? This is the landing page uh, for that website name. Let's just say, alternate. Okay, that's what I want to call this. That's the source. Okay, then you can see I don't need to put the HTTP, so I'm just coming like this. All right. Um, okay. 
business, computer electronics, I'll be try to see. Okay, let me click this order to move on first. So now, once I'm done with this, now all I need to do is get tracking ID. As it's getting the traffic ID, look at it, this traffic tracking ID. I see this is tracking ID, but what I actually need from that is this script, which I will need to um, add on my website. Okay, so what do I do? So I'll just copy this script from script open to script close. Okay. So I'm copying this guy right now. Um, go back to, this is a regular C panel. I can just click on File Manager. Once you click File Manager, I click Go. This is the back end of a website called Control Panel. So once you are here, you remember that is digital dots. So I'll just go to a file called digital. Those are subdomain I've already created. You get to know how to do that. And um, so now, Going to the index, that index is the main page, the landing page for this. Uh, I'm going to click this. Um, it's coming up. So, in between the air tag, can you see the air tag actually started from it? This is what I mean by air tag in HTML. That's part of what you are going to learn on web authoring as a course. Web authoring, that's part of what I'm going to learn on web authoring. Okay, and um, yeah, now so. Can decide to make that script to be anyway, 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 still in between the editor. So I just put that script now and I saved. So immediately I save this now. Immediately I save this now. It simply means this will be monitoring any traffic that came into this um, digital. I think where's the digital? Okay. This digital from now onward. This will be monitoring the traffic that came into this, okay? So we're monitoring the traffic, let me go back there. So it's still saving. So once it's finished saving, so that's what I want to do. So the same thing to do another one. So to add another one, what do I need to do again? I just need to go back to the, um, here and add a new property again, right? For the next one, copy it again, go to the cPanet, put it there again, again and again and again. So let me see if this one is done. Okay, good. This one is done now, so I've got that traffic. Just have the same landing page, I duplicated like four times for different, I have different ad passwords. So I want to compare, measure the productivity on all these um, ad so, so that uh, when you're doing some other things, next time you know, uh, you know, actually, you actually know what to do. So. For the the other one, let's like um, attend. Okay, okay, like attend. There's another landing page. So everything are here. So instead of going back, I can just click this now and say attend. Sorry, ish. I just type attend here because I've already have this file too. So it take me back to this directory shop. Then the same way what I did just now. Why this guy is opening now? Going back to my analytics, then I've got this one attend. Then um, the URL for attend, which is this, I copied it. Um, I will go <laughs> so I have it right now. And um, I couldn't get what is that? What I wanted. Oh, good. So I get a major mistake the other time. I can edit that one later. That was not a big deal. Nigeria, I get a high day, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So here I am. Copy this guy just like the one we did the other time, and uh, go back to this guy. Attend. In between the air tag, you can see the air tag. I mean, if you don't see the air tag, just control F, find, then type what you're looking for. Can you see? So that is how easy to get that. So we get to where we are doing. So you can make it, it can be here, it doesn't matter. Just in between the air tag. So I have this now. And um, I save this guy too. And just the way it is, I, I just uh, implement. Um, 
Google Analytics for tracking website, visitor, device, device, the bounce rate and whatever things so that I can know what to implement more on the web analytics. So this is how simple you can uh, apply web analytics to your website. Once again, don't forget um, to register for this event. And if you have any other information or you want to uh, do a kind of group registration, don't hesitate to contact uh, the number on this 2629 boot on WhatsApp. And uh, do also hesitate to check the link below this video. Thank you for listening.